Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And welcome to your weekday daily card reading, where we dive in and see what's in store in the cards. Yesterday's reading was amazing. It was just such a beautiful message. <laughs> you guys just saw those cards jump out, right? I really hope so, because I'm laughing because I got to show you what they are. I'm going to just pull a few more here, but I shuffled and shuffled and shuffled. So let me just get one more. This is fantastic. It, that totally distracted me. So funny. Hold on. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the reason why I'm laughing is if you guys tuned in yesterday, you will remember the cards that we got. We had the magician, the star, the lovers, and we had, uh, what was the other one? Magician, star, lovers. There was one other, but I can't remember because these three popped out. Now, these three, I did not put in uh, all together. I put them in separate order and they all just flew out. And I'm jokingly made a uh, kind of sarcastic comment to my guides right before I hit play here. I said, guys, you're going to show me the same awesome pull from yesterday because that was pretty impressive. And I can't believe that this came out. So let's talk about this again really quickly here because this is just stunning. So the star card and the magician again, <clears throat> this is universal alignment. This is the universe responding to what you have set as your intent, what you want to create. And they're saying, hey, we hear you. We're working on it. We know this is part of your destiny. We're working to spin the webs of destiny and the, the energetic alignment so that they fall into your path in 3D. The universe is working with us. There's so much magic in the air this week. It's fantastic, fantastic. And it all has to do with the energy of like fire element. And anytime we're in an energy of fire element, like Leo, that means movement shift and change and rapid too, right? Fire doesn't just move slowly. It, it moves and it's moving in the direction of choices. And I talked about those choices with this card yesterday, but today I'm getting with the next cards that I pulled extra emphasis with this lover's card here, extra emphasis of love and relationship with this ace of cups here. To have ace of cups and lovers, that is a new love coming in. So for many of you, this could be a deepening of your current relationship in love. But this, for many, I'm also seeing is a new love, a new relationship coming here to bring more harmony, more joy, more abundance into your life. And it's very, very close. And so when I say that it's very, very close, again, if this is a new relationship, you may have already met them, but you're not quite realizing uh, that it is them. You may be feeling a draw to a certain place and you don't know why. And it could be because that is where you will meet them, come across them, this deepening of a connection. And although, yes, today, this can still mean business, family, all of that. But I do want to say there is an extra emphasis today in the energy of romantic partnership, divine love. Ace of Cups is always some new love coming in. And when paired with the lover's card, this truly is divine relationships. It's quite beautiful. It's quite stunning. And I feel the magic tingling from it. And again, that's because of the star card and the magician are bringing these beautiful alignments together. So that tells me there's a lot of people coming into alignment of emb embodied partnership. And I just think that is so beautiful because how, how lovely is it to find a pairing in a partnership? that can help us continue to grow into who we are when it is in divine alignment. And so this energy of the nine of wands, I love this because the wands again is a fire element. You can see she's got fire at the top of her wand there. And the nine meaning she's almost completed this journey. She's almost at the point where she's gathered all the intel, the information, the wisdom she needs to make that completion at 10. And so for many of you, you are literally on your way to making this connection here. So I think that's quite stunning. Um, I am a hopeless romantic as well. I love, I love, love. I love the energy of it, of stories about it. I love when people share their stories about it. So there's that. I do also want to say what I'm getting to from my guides is that this also can be a deepening of communication. This is beautiful. A deepening of communication from past loved ones, past relationships, whether you've lost somebody and they're in the spirit world, 
um, even a connection of your guides, a divine guide. It's kind of like those on the other side of the veil are coming in through as well to bring in that energy of love and support too. So you may notice that for you, a lot of connection opens up from you and somebody that you lost. It's kind of like this thinning of the veils so that they can come through, through music, uh, number symbols, maybe funny things that made you laugh with them. Suddenly you stumble upon that exact same thing, like these divine alignments so that they can show you that they're around. It's a deepening of that connection and new ability to communicate and connect with them. So I think that's beautiful. So again, today we are still in this magical energy of divine alignments, universal alignments, very much in a heart-based way. Doesn't get better than that. So whew, I'll leave that with you guys. I hope that really fills your heart today. It sure does mine. I'm just, um, quite flabbergasted to see those come through today again. So, uh, I hope you're feeling that energy and again, as always, I just want to thank you guys so much for, uh, spending time with me and joining in on these readings, feeling them, sharing your thoughts and ideas about it. It's beautiful. And I want to encourage you that if you are looking to deep dive into your journey and have someone help facilitate for you, definitely check out avalonspirit.com. We have many avenues, beautiful people to help you do that as well. And like I said yesterday, if you're not sure what I'm talking about with the energy of August, definitely listen to the Jeanette Byra podcast. Monday's episode was the August energy update. It is full of deeper insights into this stuff. So check that out and I will see you guys tomorrow.